for every angry mob that gets shown on television. There are billions around the world who share similar hopes and dreams. They tell us that there is a common heartbeat to humanity. So much attention in our world turns to what divides us. That's what we see on the news. That's what consumes our political debates. But when you strip all away, people everywhere long for the freedom to determine their destiny, the dignity that comes with work, the comfort that comes with faith, and the justice that exists when governments serve their people and not the other way around. Security for our citizens. Now, I have made it clear that the United States government had nothing to do with this video. And I believe its message must be rejected by all who respect our common humanity. It is an insult not only to Muslims, but to America as well. He supported the birth of a new democracy. Given the power of faith in our lives and the passion that religious differences can inflame, the strongest weapon against hateful speech is not repression. It is more speech. The voices of tolerance that rally against bigotry and blasphemy and lift up the values of understanding and mutual respect. That topple the dictator. Because we recognize but in 2012, at a time when anyone with a cell phone can spread offensive views around the world with a click of a button, the notion that we can control the flow of information is obsolete. And the question then is, how do we respond? And on this, we must agree. There is no speech that justifies mindless violence. And make no mistake, a nuclear-armed Iran is not a challenge that can be contained. It would threaten the elimination of Israel, the security of Gulf nations, and the stability of the global economy. It risks triggering a nuclear arms race in the region and the unraveling of the Non-Proliferation Treaty. That's why a coalition of countries is holding the Iranian government accountable. And that's why the United States will do what we must to prevent Iran from obtaining a nuclear weapon. If there is a cause that cries out for protest in the world today, peaceful protest, it is a regime that tortures children and shoots rockets at apartment buildings. And we must remain engaged to assure that what began with citizens demanding their rights does not end in a cycle of sectarian violence. Together, we must stand with those Syrians who believe in a different vision, a Syria that is united and inclusive, where children don't need to fear their own government. And all Syrians have a say in how they're governed, Sunnis and Alawites, Kurds and Christians. That's what America stands for. That is the outcome that we will work for, with sanctions and consequences for those who persecute, and assistance and support for those who work for this common good. We must not belong to a dictator who massacres his people. Among Israelis and Palestinians, the future must not belong to those who turn their backs on the prospect of peace. Let us leave behind those who thrive on conflict, those who reject the right of Israel to exist. The road is hard, but the destination is clear, a secure Jewish state of Israel and an independent, prosperous Palestine.